what is up everybody it's gorilla man here back with another farming simulator video and in today's video everybody we are going to be doing some login we're going to be setting up for some login we probably won't get to any today but we're going to be choosing all of our equipment choosing our spot and we're going to be getting set up for it so as you guys can see here if you guys didn't know we are on the kst map uh this map is pretty neat if you guys don't know so far let me show you it's got this whole area down below and then it has a island is what i guess you'd say you could say we got an island connected by one bridge two bridges and then it's also connected by two ferries so you got a ferry here then you got a ferry over here to our left we're gonna be using this left one here because that will be the most direct route from the mainland over to our island and there's like a little dock here that we can use and then we're gonna be choosing one of these spots here we might be choosing i think spot one would be the easiest one for us so you can just come off right here come up come around we should be good that's what we're gonna be doing we're gonna do logging and then for logging we're gonna be selling right here so it'll be right off the ferry, so it's not going to be too terrible or too bad for us to uh, move stuff around with. But today we're going to be starting with our Peterbilt. This is a, it's a 387 Peterbilt right here. We got it all souped up and ready to go. So we're going to be using uh, FDR stuff, as you guys probably assumed if you guys knew that. We're going to be using the FDR logging pack. Let's see, we'll use his special chainsaw here. Check it out real quick. Oh, there we go. Oh, it's like camo and everything. That's actually pretty cool. All right. Let me see. We'll change it over here. Yeah, look at that steel one. All right. So get this out of here. All right. So let's purchase. We're going to start out with our auto, our auto loading logging trailer. If I could say all that. That's a, that's a lot to say. Let's see. Where do we think it'll be? I think it'll be in forestry equipment. Ooh, it could be this one, but I don't think it is. Nope, right here. All right, yeah, so it's that one, but it's just auto. Um, we're going to go standard tires because we don't need it to be too wide. And then I have us at $4.3 million right now because we are going to be purchasing all of these. And these can get cost in quite a bit when you start getting into them. Um, the bunchers and stuff like that start costing quite a bit. So we'll bring this down to uh, a lower number so we can actually keep track of how much money we actually make doing this because that's going to be one of the main points of this whole thing. Uh, for semi hauler, we'll use the one that carries more gas. Pick up this guy and then we're going to be using a low bed attacher. We'll use the top and the bottom. Get the actual low bed. And then to start out with, we're going to start with, we probably don't need a yard. Let's scroll all the way over here. So for these machines, so basically they get bigger, bigger, and bigger, or bigger right here than this one to this one. Oh, you guys probably hear my dog looking in the background. He's drinking some water right now. Don't mind him. Uh, we'll probably go with, let's go with this red one because it's red and that's why. Um, that's the one that moves easier. And then for these ones, we don't need that one because we already have something to uh, load and run with. So I think we'll go with this bad boy, the ZX Grapple Loader. And then we'll also grab this one because we're probably going to be stacking logs up quite a bit. And this one makes it a lot easier. It's like kind of a, it's like a pallet, um, how you have on a forklift. You drive right up, it would pick it up. But then this also has the top uh, grapple, so it can just come right down and grab it. And then for processors, we're going to go with our fixed processor. Uh, we'll see which one we like better. I'm not sure yet if I, if I like a fixed or a dangle processor better. Uh, obviously, you can tell by the names of what they're going to do. Then for our skitter, let's go with a grapple skitter. We don't need nothing too large. So we got that. And... That should be good for now. We're probably going to also be using our forestry helicopter too a bit here, but I haven't quite decided yet um, where we're going to use it. And I got to get a helipad in here and we got to put a helipad down. Uh, but we got to get our site established first, as you guys probably guessed. All right. So let me get this guy loaded up and ready. I'm going to be using the uh, follow me mod for some of this. Or I'm going to try to. I've never used this mod before, but oh wow, look at these. These machines are gigantic. But uh, I'm going to be using that mod to help me get stuff across there quicker. Things take away less time. Maybe only two trips. Uh, that's the hope, at least. Let's 
and snag this guy. And then for this, I'm probably gonna only be able to do one at a time because the ferry is short, but it, I mean, it's long, but it can take the front of this all the way to the rear. Um, so I don't think we're gonna be doing more than what we have here. We might even have to run that one over to the ferry solo. So I'm not quite sure yet. All right, let's load this uh, this guy up first. There we go. Yep, just making sure it moves all righty and right. Pop him up here. All right, bring this back. Oh, let's actually let's whip this one around. Let's turn it around here. Last thing we want is this thing to be smashing down on the top of our semi. All right, that'll probably work the best. Probably should have pulled it on. Just gotta remember to flip it back around when we're done. So I'll probably be driving this semi hauler, and then we'll have the follow me uh, be taking the auto loader back. So oh, we gotta make sure we do it right. Uh oh, all right here. I'm gonna look up really quick how to use the follow me mod because I don't think I'm doing it right. And we're gonna shut off traffic too. We can shut off traffic, so we don't want anybody barging into us. All right, there we go, everybody. I got a follower behind us. He's running this thing. This stuff is super loud here. Let me turn down the sound of this real quick. Oh, there we go. All right, all right, should be good now. All right, so we got a follower following us about 25 meters, and let's check and see if he actually is following us. Yep. All right, well, I'm gonna be taking this a little slow through here just so we don't uh, lose everything. Make sure he's taking that route wide. Yes, sir, he is. Look at him, good worker there. All right, so we're gonna pull this up here, and I'm wondering, I don't know exactly if we'll actually be able to fit this entire thing on the ferry. I might have to back this on and then uh, let the uh, let the ferry take this across and then come back for my semi because I am not quite sure. All right, here, we're gonna back it on just in case. Ooh, actually. Ooh, this, I don't know if this is gonna work at all, actually. All right, everybody, we're just gonna, we're gonna take this and we're gonna go across the bridge. I was gonna take the ferry, but I'm afraid that the ferry won't, is not large enough. So I'm, yeah, we're gonna take the bridge across and we're gonna put the stuff over at spot one and then we're gonna truck back. Um, so I'm just gonna run all this stuff real quick. So I'll see you guys in just a second. All right, guys. So we are here. Our it looks like our follower there got a little, uh, a little left behind, but I think he's making his way up here, which is all that matters. Hopefully, he doesn't slam right into. Uh... Holy crap! Oh, I forgot that I had this guy turned around. All right. Hopefully, he doesn't slam right into the back of us. Let's watch it here. See if he does. Oh, he didn't. Nice. Okay. Well, all I gotta do now, and he's inching closer. Hey there, big boy, slow down. I'm gonna stop him so he doesn't do any more damage. Uh huh. There we go. He is out of here. So now I'm just gonna take this truck, and we're gonna take this guy. We need. To, we still need to widen this area. Um, 
probably knock out a few trees to get a little bit more airy in here. So let's see. We'll set our timber runner right here for the moment. And we'll probably have about two or three more of those uh, just for getting stuff done. Wait. Oh, we need to turn this guy around. No, no. He's turned around already. All right. So set that up. Get this one lined up nice. All right. So we're just going to line these things up now. Make them look all nice for now. All right. That'll do. And then we'll run back. And then I'll probably end up just grabbing a uh, like another whole truck and timber runner. And then I'll pull another uh, piece of equipment up here. So I'm going to do that one. So I'll see you guys once I go grab that. And then hopefully we should have everything up here soon. All right. So give me just a second. Let's do it. And then we stopped for a while. You said you want to kiss me. Remember thinking, is this really happening? Happening, happening. I never thought I'd meet someone so beautiful. I couldn't quite believe it. It was magical. Just kissing on the street lights on our way back home. Our way back home. Our way back home. Oh my gosh. I have absolutely no idea how that just happened, but I'm probably going to have to reset this thing. Holy crap. Look at that. Okay, guys. Give me just a second here. This is insane. I'm so confused. You can call me stupid. Yes, you can call me sheep. You can say I lay a seed. You can say I weep. You think that using her would get to me. And if you're right, then you're in trouble, D. Cause I won't break, no, I know I won't wait. You're in trouble, D. all right so here is our second to last trip so far we'll drop off these guys and then follower b as you guys can see there he got a little a little too far behind so it just disconnected so i'll have to go grab him in a second but i think i figured out why i got stuck on that bridge there and why it popped me up like it did so the like the wideness of this trailer is literally about a foot um less than the actual thickness of that bridge there. So I think was is the side of it got caught up and then it popped up and then it threw everything out of whack. So when I do it, I gotta go through really, really slow since I'm super, super, super tight right here on these edges. But hey, now I know. So hopefully that won't happen again. Let's throw this guy back. All right, now let's grab helper B. Let's find his truck. Where's he at? 
Ah, oh, there he is. All right, I got you, bro. Oh, man, this guy, he got, yeah, he got, he got really, really, really far behind. That's right when I hit this straightaway stretch here. It just disconnected. Oh, we're gonna probably want to get a power washer on site because look at these. These things are just destroyed. They're so dirty. The, this Peterbilt and the trailer it's hauling with. Oh boy. All right, that's yeah, that's pretty crazy. But on this map, guys, we're only gonna be running full pieces of timber, um, just because that's kind of how it is. Um, I could do wood chips, but I don't really want to do wood chips because there's just so many trees. I just want to do the full, uh, full length of the trees, and there's so much for us to do. So I think that's what we're gonna be doing. And there's yeah, there's just so many trees that it's gonna take quite a while for us to make any sort of dent. And I'm probably gonna turn this into a Saturday live stream too. We're gonna be bringing on a few of you guys. I'll have to set up all the mods and pull everything uh, that you guys are gonna need. So that will be uh, pretty helpful. So I'll do that eventually. But until then, um, we're gonna st stick with this uh, like single player. I think I'm gonna bring in uh, Switch TV or the squad and uh, the one of the next episodes. Um, oh, sorry there. And there we go. All right, I got these two bunched up right here. Now, now I just need to drive back and actually I don't need to drive back. I'll just go over and I'll grab it. Okay, that top speed is super slow. What about this guy right here? nine miles an hour oh boy this machine is huge but incredibly slow does it open up ah there we go all right guys i'm just gonna roll this guy back and it's probably gonna take me like 20 minutes just to drive this whole thing oh hey that can go in the ground Probably gonna take me like 20 minutes to drive this whole thing back. So we're gonna end it here, everybody. So yeah, today was just like a hauling episode, getting everything up to the logging site. I still gotta chop a few trees down to make some more room, especially for this big mamma jamma right here. This guy is huge, and we're not gonna be able to load him up there. Oh, am I gonna get this power lines? Oh, we just go right through them. Whew. I was gonna say that would that's gonna be a bad one. Alright, but we're I'm gonna finish getting everything up there, guys. So thank you all for watching. If you guys are excited for this series, it's gonna be a long logging series. Probably about 20 episodes or something like that. Something crazy. Um, I will eventually bring down the, all of our money down to like twenty or thirty thousand or hundred thousand, something small, so we can actually see how much money we are making from depositing logs. But until then, everybody, if you guys are liking this, hit that like button. If you guys want to see more of it, uh, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the notification bell, just so you guys know when I go when I post and go live. Until then, everybody, I'll wait for you in the next one. Thanks for watching.